Hello. He's a uh, one pager on the MEI C3 paper. That's the one on methods, mathematical methods. Um, it's in the form, as you can see here, of a uh, mind map, um, and it's intended to focus on the questions that may come up as well as the methods. So we've got about seven or eight main elements here. Um, exponential equations, they could ask you to try and solve one. I find points on it, do some differentiation, find some gradients. You should be able to use all the different forms of differentiation. Um, you know, differentiate each of the kx functions, coses and sines and tans. Use the chain rule, product rule, and quotient rule, and also do implicit differentiation. Integration, substitution, um, which is like the inverse chain rule. Most of the time, they'll tell you what the substitution should be, or they'll prompt you to substitute. It'll say by su integrate by substitution. If you're left with the worst of all, by parts, um, little, um, little uh, mnemonic here about the order to pick your U. I in late L A T E logs uh, first algebra trig and exponentials last um, functions quite often they'll ask you to invert a function and look for its uh, quote its domain and range so flip those this is pretty well always a modulus question um, intersection of two modulus is quite popular transformations yes they will ask you um, give you the two sets of transformations i.e. translations and stretches and remember that the um, if it's outside the bracket it's affecting the y it's as you would expect and um, if it's inside the bracket it's affecting x it's doing the opposite to that you'd expect and you can always just check that on particularly on the x by putting in a value that brings you back so if you've got an x plus one then you can see that if I, you put x equals to minus one in there you come back to the the bracket in turn being zero um, real life questions they like these ones where they're doing the reciprocal dh by dv is one over dv by dh um, so we're using the chain rule here they're going to give you that one part of it is constant and they're going to give you um, various shapes there, cuboids, trapeziums, cylinders, cones and spheres to work with. Um, left out proofs, quite often they'll go for a direct proof, something around divisibility, yeah, show three, uh, three consecutive numbers are divisible by six. They might give you a disproof, um, we have something like all primes are odd, well two's even and it's a prime. Or exhaustion, where they'll sort of give you, ask you maybe to um, show that the um, no perfect square has a square that ends in a three, um, and ask you to do it from one to nine initially, say, and then move on from there. Now, section B, um, they're going to take you through the full range, uh, finding intercepts, finding max, mins, and saddle points finding uh, and proving they are finding tangents finding areas under curves so they're going to take you through all of those and you just got to use the skills you have remember the whole purpose of everything else that we've learned is to be able to do the things that i've just been asked you to do and what are the functions they're likely to ask you for there's two questions here and they'll give you two different functions and two different forms so the first one's going to be something like x e to the x. So it's got an exponent of that sort of function. So you can do a product rule and, I, uh, and activities like that. And maybe a log of x. Yeah? So that's taking off down product rule or quotient, uh, may primary product rule. Yeah. The second function's going to have a denominator. It's going to have a 1 over x. Um, it's going to one, uh, 1 over 1 minus x or something or a square root of and that's so they can get you into using uh, the uh, quotient rule and also for some tough substitution integration so you're going to see something that looks like one of each of those um, and that's classically what they do so i hope that's of use to you